Welcome back. Last time we learned how to check our image quality. But what if your graphic is too small or pixelated? Don't throw it away yet. Today, I'll show you how to use a free upscale tool to make your designs bigger, sharper, and print ready. First, let's head over to Photopea and take a look at a blurry design. I have uploaded this design right here. And as you guys can tell, this is not super crisp. It has got a little blur to it. Now, some of you guys may be looking at this and be like, Crystal, are you sure? But wait until we upscale and you'll really be able to see the difference. So remember how last time I showed you to come up here to image. We're gonna go to image size and we're gonna check our image size and our DPI. So first, you always wanna check that DPI first and it's 300, so that is correct. Let's see how many inches is 2000 pixels. So we're going to change this to inches and that's only six inches. So if we try to change this to a 10.5 or 11 or 12 inch design, it's just going to get even worse. So what can we do? Before we take this over to our free upscale tool, what you actually wanna do is come over here and change the size of this until it seems a little bit better. So let's go ahead and drop this design down to around 1500 pixels. We're gonna hit okay. And let's take a look at that. That seems a little bit better. For most designs, whenever it comes to upscale, I usually bring them down to that 1500 pixels, but sometimes if the image is really bad, you may have to bring it a little bit further. Before we upscale, there's two things that we need to do. We need to make sure that we have a little bit of a border all the way around. So you guys can see here, I've got a little bit of extra canvas all the way around. To add a little bit more to your canvas, you can simply just come over here to image canvas size, and then say for example, right now it's 1500. Say I went in and I brought it up to 1600. We're gonna hit okay. And that's gonna give me just a little bit more border. So this is perfect. The next thing that we wanna do is add a layer behind it. So I'm gonna add a solid white. Now, if you're concerned about it taking out any other pieces of white, like that's just too close, I can pick a color that is not in here. So for example, if I did it in purple, I don't see any purple here it's gonna be super easy to remove that. But most times you really wanna to try to have a white background, all right? So you can't take it over to upscale with a transparent. It has to have a background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to layer, new, layer, and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose that color fill and I'm going to add white, hit okay. And then we are going to grab that layer and drop it below the design. Now we're ready to export this. To export your design, we're just simply gonna to come to File, then you wanna choose Export As, and we're gonna choose PNG. When it comes to DTF transfers, you really want to use a PNG file. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. And so what I like to do, for example, if this was named Football, I'll usually do underscore white. That way I know it has that white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save. Before you do, just so you can kind of see, with this preview here, this is showing you pixel to pixel. Now remember, to look at an image pixel to pixel, it's like holding your arms out at arm's length and having a 12 by 12 record or a 12 by 12 cardstock. So this is what that design is looking like. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now let's check out the free upscale tool I highly recommend you check out. I use upscale.org. When you come to this screen right here, you actually want to save this to your computer. So to do so, you're just gonna come right over here to download, and then you're going to choose which computer you have. So for example, I have the Mac, but what I like to do is choose the alternate downloads, and the ones that you're gonna choose, if I come down to Mac, I'm gonna choose DMG free. So that is going to be the file that's gonna put it on my computer so I can use it and it's completely free. Now, if I had a Windows, you're just simply gonna choose installer. Just like that. So you wanna choose those files, they're gonna download it to your computer and you're gonna always have it right there. Once you download Upscale, you're only gonna to have to do this part one time. So you're simply gonna choose your language, you're gonna hit next. You do not wanna change anything here. You're gonna hit next. There is a video to teach you how to upscale. We're gonna hit next. And that's it. So now we're just gonna hit get started. At this point, you don't need to change anything. All you simply have to do is go to select image. We're gonna find our design, which is right here. 
We're gonna choose open. The next thing that you wanna do is set your image scale. So I'm gonna change mine to four times. Once you open this every time, it should go right back there. Now, if it's super low, like I had to bring this down to 800 DPI or 600, you may wanna bring it up to six times. You're gonna get that little warning there, but that's where I would try. Anything other than that, 1500, I would recommend just doing the four times upscale. Next, you wanna choose your folder that this is gonna go, and mine is set for my downloads. Now we're ready to upscale. I'm going to choose upscale. As you can see, it's doing its magic, it's doing its thing. Sometimes it's faster than others, depending on how much work it needs to do. Once your upscale is finished, you're going to see the corrected side on the right and the blurry one on the left. So this really allows you to see what has happened. Now you can really tell that this was blurry. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of pull this over so you guys can see that. It is super crisp and vibrant. It is perfect. This is downloaded to your computer, so let's take it back to Photopea. Once you're back at Photopea, you wanna exit out of the design we were working with before because we're no longer working with that. We're gonna now bring in the upscaled version. We are gonna go ahead and open our next one. Whenever it comes to the upscale, you're gonna see that four times. And so now we know that is our upscale version. When it comes to DTF, I highly recommend you do not use background removal tools. This is where things can get really messed up. All you simply need to do inside of Photopea is use your magic wand. So we're gonna select that. And then you can change your tolerance depending on how much of that white is picking up. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this white right here. It's just going all the way around. But if you notice that it's starting to grab those pieces inside here, you may wanna adjust your tolerance, which is just right here. And that's gonna allow it just to get that border. All you need to do is hit delete. Just like that, we have removed our background. Now, this is where some people think, okay, I'm done, I've got it. Well, there's actually a few more pieces we need to get rid of. So we actually need to get rid of these pieces right in here. So let's look at it with the pixel to pixel. We're gonna go to view and we're gonna go pixel to pixel. So I'm just gonna come right over here. So that way we can select these and remove them. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. Now to choose multiple, you're gonna hold down the shift and we're gonna select the next one and this one and we're gonna hit delete. And there we have it. So this is where a lot of people miss pieces and leave them behind and that is not correct. So you wanna make sure that you are removing anything extra that is in that background that does not need to be there. I just noticed that I almost missed one more. So I've got one more little piece right here and I'm gonna hit delete. So this looks perfect. If you guys see that I've missed anything, comment down below, but that's how easy it is to accidentally miss those pieces. That is one thing I'm wanting to get into teaching you guys to look for is whether it is just bad art from a graphic designer or whether it is possibly stolen or maybe it's just a really bad AI design. Now that we have done all of that, let's go ahead and check our design and make sure everything looks okay. So let's add a background layer and take a look at this. We're gonna come back up here to layer, new layer. And then we're gonna come right down here to the bottom, color fill, and we are going to choose the black design. I've already had the white there, so I'm gonna have it on the black. And then at this point, I'm gonna go back to the pixel to pixel. And that way I can really look at those edges and make sure everything looks nice and crisp. As you can see, everything is perfect. I don't have any white halo going all the way around. So this design is awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to go to image and we need to resize this. So right now this image is humongous and you don't want to keep it like this. So we're gonna go back to image, image size, and what you can see here is that DPI is 72. So we actually wanna come over here, start there first. You wanna change it to the 300 DPI. Whenever it comes to DPI, I wish they actually had it as DPI with then height because you always want to adjust that DPI first. All right, so as you can see, this is 26, almost 27,000 pixels. And if we change that to inches, 
It's 88.89 inches. That is massive. That is a huge file. That is way too big. Have you guys ever had a file that you brought in and it's just massive and you're like, what in the heck is going on? That graphic designer did not change that back down to a proper size. So what we want to do is change this to the 45 hundred pixels, which you can do the inches if you want to, and that's 15 inches. I highly recommend that way you have that adjustment room, especially if it's something that you are offering to your customers to have it at different sizes for different t-shirts. All right, so we've got it down to the 4,500 and we have it at the 300 DPI. We're gonna hit okay. And that's it. See how much better that looks? Upscaling can save a design that you thought was unusable. In the next video, we'll jump back into Photopea. I'll teach you how to trim and clean up those edges so they're perfectly sized. If you're somebody and you like a blog or you wanna see like a step-by-step -step written out, you could definitely head on over to crystaldtf.com and I have a blog on this and you can just simply read through this. It's got the links for Photopea, Upscale, and then it just walks you all the way through fixing this. You can see removing the background, you can see upscaling an image here, all of those different things right over on crystaldtf.com.